What's up, YouTube? This is Mathwiz97, and welcome back to my SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 General Manager mode. This is the go-home show to the Armageddon pay-per-view, and I don't think we have super stiff competition this week. Raw got three stars, ECW got two and a half, so this is actually our golden opportunity to jump right in here and just destroy, just wreak havoc in the ratings, and that's what we need. Desperately need that. So, opening the show, we have Sandman taking on William Regal, Sabu, Finley at ringside, setting up for their WWE Tag Team Clash at Armageddon. Then we have a six-man tag, and as you can see, we have a new face. I finally got rid of Kelly Kelly, and I decided to go for Elijah Burke, just to give, an, you know, add a new face to the Cruiserweight division, just give something else here. Like I said, I'm trying to rebrand the Cruiserweight division, trying to figure out what we're gonna do with this. It's really the only thing that doesn't really work with the Hardcore Legends theme, so I'm free to kind of do whatever I want there. And so this is just a chaotic six-man tag. We got all the Cruiserweights involved in there. Um, obviously, at the pay-per-view, we're gonna have some sort of Battle Royal. It's, um, again, Chavo versus Punk. I'm trying to get the belt on Chavo here, so that way he can go in, defend the title against five of the cruiserweights, so obviously not all six of these guys are gonna be in the match. Um, so it kind of depends on which team wins. If Burke's team wins, I assume he'll be in there. Oh, actually, no. I did a rivalry with Burke and Flair. The Hardy Boys have their feud, so it's really a matter of whether or not Carlito or JTG is gonna make the match. And so, whoever wins the six-man tag, that's what we're gonna find out. Hopefully, uh, JTG's team wins, just because he's got higher popularity, but we'll see what happens. Then we got Shad versus King Booker, because they're just kind of the guys left over. Then main event, elimination tag. We got the United States champ and the former world champ taking on the number one contender for the US title and the World of Weight champion. Again, prepping things up for the big showdown at Armageddon. And then we're just doing a lot of merchandise, advertising, we need money, desperately, so we're doing that. Confirm the card, simulate opening match, Regal gets the win over Sandman, so that's a that's an upset win if I if I were to call it that. Six-man tag, no, it's Carlito's team that gets the win, so maybe Carlito, yeah, I guess JTG out of the match, potentially, at uh, Armageddon. I almost forgot the name of the pay-per-view. Shad versus King Booker. King Booker gets the win. So, hmm. Shad beat Nitro. Booker beat Shad. Maybe we'll have a fatal four-way for the US title. Hmm. I don't know. We'll figure. We'll figure that out. And yeah. Uh, if this matchup ends up running short, I guess I'll play the tag match. Uh, so I'll leave it there for now. Otherwise, I'll simulate it if this matchup ends up being a doozy. All right, the floor is gone. It disappeared again. I don't know why. I don't know why that happens with this game. It's like sometimes the floor just, if it's weird lighting, if it's like a lighting glitch, but the floor will just disappear. It just turns to black. It's just not fully there. I don't understand. I don't get it, but it happens sometimes. As we look to get this matchup underway, Chavo Guerrero looked to catch a bit of a bro, oh, bit of a breather to start the matchup off, but that's why, just so he could get a sucker punch in there on CM Punk. And now Chavo's looking to try to make make quick work of the Cruiserweight Champion tonight. He's faced him in the past, come up short on multiple occasions at that. So Chavo knows that tonight, if he doesn't win here, well, he may be the next on the chopping block. He might be the next one to, you know, take a shortcut out of the Cruiserweight division. As there you see Chavo Guerrero paying homage uh, or paying homage to his uncle, Eddie Guerrero, with the three amigos. He delivers right there. And that's a bit of an odd, a bit of an odd taunt that he went for there, but, you know, obviously, Chavo, feeling confident, getting a little full of himself. But Punk trying to reverse back a couple of strikes in there, and obviously Punk gonna be a little distracted with Snitz get ringside, but got him with the knee to the face bulldog combination. So, so far, Punk appears to be on his A game. We'll see how long that lasts. Chavo catches the kick. Chavo, oh, with the roll up, shoulder stacked, legs hooked, cover, one, two, and no. 
Punk able to survive for at least a little bit longer. Oh, referee gets in the way. Referee got in Chavo's way. As Punk starting to rally with the flurry of strikes. Chavo missed with a clothesline. So, oh, no, no. Went for the running knee. Did not get it. As Punk now delivers with a drop kick while Chavo was still on the ground. Now the headlock takeover. Chavo goes down again. Oh, wait, there's Snitsky. Snitsky up on the apron. Punk distracted. And Chavo looking to take advantage. The referee distracted as well. And that's definitely a concern. Of course, CM Punk sort of costs... I mean, CM Punk basically costs Snitsky the United States Championship a couple of weeks back. So now Snitsky is looking to return the favor by costing Punk the Cruiserweight title. And of course, with Armageddon so close, that first blood match on the horizon, I mean, there's just so much on the line going into Armageddon. Oh, look at this, sleeper hold. Sleeper hold applied by CM Punk. And of course, Punk, the submission specialist. This is his, his specialty, his A game. As he continues to wrench back with the pressure there, unable to force Chava to tap out though. Then again, Chavo was unable to break it, so... Oh! And a kick right to the jaw from CM Punk. What a shot. What a devastating shot right there to Chavo Guerrero. And now CM Punk going to work. And you can tell CM Punk, he's getting fired up for that first blood matchup this Sunday. Because he's starting to... I mean, he was starting to take some strikes there on Chavo Guerrero. Go right in for the kill. Perhaps try to draw blood. But uh, unable to do so just yet. Chavo with the reversal. Oh, but Punk's going to reverse back. He's now Chavo. Oh, look, look, look at this. He's going for the going for the roll-up again. Got the tights this time. As the referee, uh, a little slow to get in the position. Only got to a two count, did Chavo. But nonetheless, he continues to go on the attack. You sure can he spins him around. Looks like he's going to go for a submission hold. Oh, but that's not going to last very long. Not against CM Punk. About the worst strategy you can use. Oh, and another kick. Another kick right on the jaw. Chavo, he can't take too many more of those kicks and expect to stay alive in this matchup. Is Punk able to counter? Goes for the kick. Oh, now going for a Cobra Clutch. But a rope break will save Chavo for for the moment. There's a big kick, Chavo goes down. But Chavo now, coming back. Couple of strikes, didn't get the clothesline. But he's able to take Punk against the ropes. There's Punk now, oh, Chavo, kicking out the leg. Kicking out the leg of CM Punk. But, uh, not quite enough, Punk's got him up in his shoulders. Chavo, trying to get out of harm's way and he's able to counter into a DDT. He's now Chavo looking to go up top. Chavo, high risk move on the way. Got him with the elbow drop. Got him with the elbow drop. Straight to the heart. Crushed the life out of him. But Punk is still alive for the moment. It's Chavo, there's a kick. But Punk blocks him before he can deal any more damage. Oh, Chavo ducks behind. And Chavo, back suplex. The back suplex connects. Punk is in trouble. Chavo... Chavo's gonna go for it. Gonna go for the kill. Gory bomb. Got him with the gory bomb. Chavo rolls him over. Hook of the leg. One, two, no. It's not enough. CM Punk continues to fight on. Is oh, there's a kick. Devastating kick to the midsection. And now Punk with a combination. And Chavo had no answer to that flurry of the flurry of strikes. The fancy footwork of CM Punk is too much for Chavo to keep up with. As Punk just continues to just take him to task here. Oh, counter by Punk. Chavo. Chavo's in trouble. Oh, he's in big trouble. As CM Punk, go to sleep. The GTS connects. Punk has he retained the cruiserweight title right then and there. Down into the cover. One, two, no, Chavo the kick out. Both men have hit their finishers. Both men have kicked out. It's only a matter of moments until this matchup comes to an end. You can feel it. It's getting there. As Punk shook him off. Chavo shakes him off. It's just counter for counter. 
Chavo again, back to work on that leg, but Punk's not gonna let him deal too much damage. Oh no, and now look at CM Punk. There is again the aggression, the ferocity of CM Punk. Again, you can tell that he's been getting prepped for that match with Snitsky. I mean, he's coming at Chavo with extra aggression here tonight. Two count, no, oh, kick out again by Chavo. Trying to put Chavo away, trying to end this matchup as quickly as he can to preserve himself for the match at Armageddon. But Chavo is, I mean, Chavo, he's not easy pickings tonight. He came prepared. I mean, the last time these two faced off in a singles matchup, it was pretty close, pretty back and forth. Chavo has beaten Punk before. Look at this, arm drag off the top rope. Devastating arm drag. Chavo now, he's gonna go for the cover. One, two, no. Kick out once again by CM Punk. It's now Chavo. Oh, oh, here come the flurry of, flurry of kicks yet again. Is Chavo now gonna toss him into the corner? What's he thinking this time? What's Chavo got in mind now? Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. No, 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 no. He's got his feet on the ropes, feet on the ropes. The referee, not gonna count it. Oh wait, now, no he is. What's going on? Well, Punk had enough time to kick out. I guess the referee, it looked like he wasn't gonna call the pin, almost like he did see Chavo's feet on the ropes. But in the end, I, I guess he didn't. Because he still went down for the pin anyway. Oh, 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 Punk missed, Punk missed. Chavo now, Chavo's got him, got the tights again. The referee's too busy shouting, having a shouting match with the air. And as a result, Chavo, what could have potentially been a three count, was a kick out. Oh, drop kick, drop kick, drop kick by Punk. Oh, Chavo nearly fell right into disaster. And now you can tell, he knows he's in trouble. Gets out of harm's way. Oh, tried to pick the foot of CM Punk. But Punk not gonna have it. Punk going to the outside, Chavo rolls inside. And now it's Punk who's on the outside to recover. What's Chavo looking to do here? Chavo, he's not gonna take a risk. He's just waiting for CM Punk to get in the ring. Although Chavo, he has to be aware of the champion's advantage that if CM Punk, oh, I think Chavo did just realize that. He's gotta bring Punk inside the ring in order to beat him. He can't put him away by count out or disqualification. So Chavo tosses him back in the ring, elbow to the face, right across that apron. This match is getting down to the final moments here. Chavo, Punk, both men. Both men are in serious trouble as Punk grabs him by the arm, drops him down to the canvas, but you can see Punk can't capitalize. His ribs are hurting him. His ribs are killing him. As, again, Chavo just can't get a grasp on CM Punk. He continues to counter. Off the ropes he goes. Chavo, back body drop. Big time back body drop. As Chavo now. Chavo, no. Punk not gonna let it happen. Whatever Chavo is going for, Punk is not going to let it happen. Connects now with a drop kick to the knee, trying to prevent Chavo from flying around that ring. It's Chavo now, no, nothing, nothing doing. Nothing doing for Chavo Guerrero. As he's trying to roll out of the way, roll out of dodge, big time knee lift that didn't connect. Nothing happening there for Chavo. There's nothing, nothing for him at the no light at the end of the tunnel. The referee again gets in the way. The referee gets in the way. And now what's going to happen here? Oh, nothing's going to happen. It's Chavo. What's Chavo doing? Chavo trying to get away, trying to get away from Punk, trying to put the referee between them. Unable to do so though. So now he's caught in the corner. Punk. Punk has got him in the corner. What's he looking to do? Oh, CM Punk wrapping him up and what's it called, the, tar the tarantula? I forget what that move is called, but Chavo all tied up on the ropes. Punk now, here's his, oh no, he got clothesline, nearly got his head taken off of the clothesline. I was gonna say, here's his opportunity, but he was unable to get it. Is now Chavo, oh look at this, look at this. Chavo, Chavo ducks behind the referee, tosses the referee straight into CM Punk. Oh no, and now look at Chavo, Chavo's going to the outside. Chavo's going to the outside. The referee's down. Chavo with a steel chair, looking to lie, cheat, and steal his way to victory. Just like his Uncle Eddie would. 
Steel chair shot to the skull. Punk. He just got rocked. And Chavo now. Chavo looking to put the finishing touches on it. As he's got the roll up. Got the tights. One. Two. No. But Punk kicked out. CM Punk managed to kick out Chavo. That may have been his the ace he had up his sleeve. That may have been his best shot. Oh my god, is he missed again? Punk again able to dodge. Chavo is trying to come up with some sort of plan here. Trying to come up with some finishing move. But he just can't get it. As now it's Punk who headbutt to Chavo. Trying to bust him open. Trying to send a direct message to Snitsky saying, hey, I know that our match is coming up, but Chavo, you see, again, the damage to the ribs. Chavo, he's too hurt. Punk, up top, here he goes. Big time miss, because he didn't hit it. And now look at this, oh, the kick on the jaw again. Another big time kick on the jaw. Punk's gonna go up top again, and this time he's gonna miss again. I don't know what exactly it is that he's going for. Has not worked for him. Oh, counter, counter by Punk. Chavo, oh, just able to dodge that super kick. That could have been disaster. It's Punk, now look at this. No, dazed, Chavo rolls him up again. Punk with the quick kick out. Chavo just can't get it, just can't put him away. Sweeps out the leg. What's it gonna come down to? It's gonna be just a matter of who blinks first, who makes the first mistake. Oh, it might have been Punk. Chavo's got him, Chavo's got him. Gory bomb. Gory bomb for the second time. Chavo the cover, hook of the outside leg. One, two, it's over. New Cruiserweight Champion, Chavo wins. After all of that, it took an eternity, but Chavo finally manages to pick up the win over CM Punk, the man that he could not defeat. Chavo finally beats him. He finally defeats the Second City Saint and becomes the new Cruiserweight Champion. Well, congratulations to Chavo. It took a journey to get here, but he's finally made it. It was a winding road, but eventually it did lead to the to the desired destination he wanted. And now Chavo now can stand among the ranks of SmackDown's champions, the best that the blue brand has to offer. All right, so that matchup went on kind of long. Let's simulate. Oh, and it's Edge and Nitro who get the win over Funk and Foley. That's honestly what I was hoping for. All right, so to the free agency, go ahead, resign Masters. Let's see, how is he now, morale-wise? Okay, yep, it did fix him. Sweet. That's awesome. So I figured out a way to hack the system. And of course, we're gonna renegotiate Chavo's contract now that he's the Cruiserweight champ. I mean, we gotta do that. We gotta, we gotta give him, give him what he deserves. So that's cool. Fatigue-wise, everybody's looking good. Edge wants a title shot, he's gonna get one. JTG, well, I might have to give him one anyway. He might just politic his way into a match. Unfortunately. See, like, Carlito, November 1st, he's fine. JTG, November 22nd, nah, -uh, I need my title shot, buddy. Seems legit, seems logical. And I guess I might as well, hmm. Yeah, I guess, uh, no, I'll be careful with Sabu because he might go all rogue and be like, uh, I'm sorry, the WWE Tag Team titles, that's not what I meant by a title shot. I want the world title. Ugh, because that happens as well. It's always fun. Let's go ahead, skip ahead to December 22nd. Armageddon. Take a look at fan support. All right. Gaining a little bit back. Not like it's much. We only had a three... <sighs> We are getting just robbed. Highway robbery, I tell ya. This one's definitely a three and a half star show. We definitely won that week. We got some fans out of it, but like we should have gotten more. Man, we're just getting nothing. Now we can't even crack the top three. Cause Edge is like, Edge was our guy and now he's just not getting there. Oh no, we have like nobody in the top 10 either. Where'd Sabu and Sandman go? Oh my God, all the way down to 17. Just from one loss? Ugh. Maybe it was also thrown off because I wasn't able to get his contract back. Maybe that's part of what did it. Also, you see now Kelly Kelly's up there because I had to boost her popularity to, you know, to high heaven in order to actually trade for Elijah Burke. 
But we got Burke now, so that's cool. We finally have uh, an extra person we can book. We got our full 20 again. All right. So now let's go right into Armageddon main event. World Heavyweight Championship. We'll make it big. Uh, what was Edge's specialty? I think Last Man Standing. Is that still the case? Yep, it is. So that's what we're going to do. Edge versus Mick Foley. Last Man Standing standing, standing match for the World Heavyweight Championship. That's going to be intense. I mean, like, Hell in a Cell would be cool, but the match specialty, I got to get the bonus. I got to get it. All right, we also know there's going to be a Cruiserweight Championship. Probably, yeah, Six Man Battle Royal. This is going to take so much money. Can we afford it? All right, we'll, we'll be fine. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll be fine. The Chavo's in there. We got Jeff. We got Matt. We got Rick. We got Carlito. We got Elijah. You know what? Let's actually don't put... A Shoot. Started the feud with Flair and Burke, so he's he's got to be in there. Well, it's only been a week. It's fine if it ends. I'm just going to put JTG in there because I don't want him to get upset with not getting a title match. Wait. But then again, with his popularity, this might not be good enough for him. Mm, mm, I don't know. We might be okay. Yeah, I'll, I'm just going to do it this way. Because, what, one week, that's not going to kill. That's not going to kill us. We'll do it this way. Carlito gets his shot as well. Just so I don't have to worry about him suddenly going rogue out of nowhere. Then we also have WWE Tag Team title match. Which will be something big. Hell in a Cell. Sure, why not? Why not? Finley and Regal. Versus. Sabu. And Sandman. Actually, Hell in a Cell might be a little too extreme for this. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do. Maybe just table. Table tornado tag. Well, then it's not elimination. It'd be cool if it was elimination. We'll do steel cage again. Because Sabu had some tough luck in a steel cage environment the last time. So this would be a chance for him to overcome his demons in that regard. And then we got, obviously, first blood match, CM Punk versus Snitsky. It's finally happening. And then United States Championship. I guess I'll make it a triple threat. I got, I'll do it a Fatal 4 Why not? And, uh... Nah, I'm not going to put a stipulation on this. I need to save some people. Not. I don't need everybody on my roster to be fatigued. So do Shad. King Booker. Terry Funk, and Johnny Nitro for the United States Championships. So that's what? 8, 10, 16. We got 18 of our 20 superstars on there, so Burke and Masters are the only one who get the show off. But, yeah, this is looking like a pretty solid card. Can we get five stars? I need it to be five stars. We'll find out next time. I will see you in the next episode of my GM Mode. So until then, keep on you